The writing tonight is very beautiful. It's from the Master. And he says, The kingdom of God is within you and awaits your realization. The presence of God is in the midst, in your midst tonight with the power of his love in great abundance. My dear ones, the awesome power of the Father's love gives meaning and purpose to your life. It is within you and all around you. It goes before you, paving the way upward to this kingdom. Each atom and molecule in your physical body em embraces his kingdom and is evidence of his presence. As you progress upward and inward on, this, on your journey back home, each step leaves an imprint of life's story that tells of his love for you and your love for him. My beloveds, how can I impress upon your countenance the glorious wonders that await you? How can I help you to hold no concern about your physical day-to-day -day journey? Let not guilt of seeming failure capture your attention. Brush it off and out of your mind as you would a burning cinder that falls upon your hand, and look not backward to see if it has burned you, but look quickly to the light of his love that shines brightly on the path ahead of you, and walk on feeling his love, light, and healing power that beckons to you, and place your attention in his presence within you, the kingdom of God. His love for you, my dear ones, is reflected through me and many others who dwell on these planes of love and light. Feel it as you walk the earth path and know always that he and we are always with you, just a thought away. My little ones, I come to you with great joy this evening to see your circle of light in the radiance of beautiful colors that beam out from it. I would have you to know that it attracts many from the realms of dimness and darkness. It also attracts those who have come to learn as you have come to learn. And your teachers and your guides are here with you in great abundance. As we look upward and forward into the coming days that you move into, let us look with great wonder and beauty of the changes that are coming about. Be not concerned about changes that may seem different to you, but hold your head high and know the love that dwells within you and within each other that you come across is always there and the kingdom of God is within everyone. The kingdom of God is not in a particular place. It is within each. Each molecule, each atom, each finer body that you speak of, it goes Head of you, beckoning you on, allowing you to choose the path that you will take. God's love for you is so great 
and so wondrous that it could not be put into your words. And as you look forward to the time when that you will be released from this physical surface, whether you are in the physical body or not, think on this and know that your heart and your minds are moving toward that time. You are, you are truly already there. Let us pause for a moment and raise the vibrations of this one through I speak and send love into the circle of light. Tight. Down. It is not always easy for him to release to the higher vibrations. And I would ask you to be patient with the channeling as it stumbles at times. Be not concerned about this, but realize that each one of you are as much a part of the channel as the one who speaks. So lend your vibrations and your love to this circle of light. And in your mind, see us reaching down to you and reach up to meet us in your minds, in your heart, with your love. The great wealth of wisdom and joy and love is within each one of you, and as you move aside the illusions of this physical plane, you can move in to the greater understanding that is yours for the taking, for the awakening, for the understanding. I would impress upon you the great importance of your making an extra effort in these days to come. The time has come for us to separate from our, in our thinking, from the negative, our lower thoughts of any kind, and if one slips in, send God's love to it immediately and allow it to be dissipated and turn your thoughts to God's power and his love. Know that within you, within each of you, is the full power of God, not just a little bit of it, but all of it. And as you take advantage of this, as you awaken to it, then you are God incarnate in the physical. You are manifesting his beauty and his joy and his love, and you are within the kingdom of his heaven that is coming to earth. Pay no attention to the things that happen on your physical plane that seem to be less than loving, but give your attention to the truth of his being that lives within you, and let this shine more brightly every day. Allow his beauty and his joy to express through your countenance that others may see and know that he does dwell on this plane, the physical earth. 
He dwells everywhere, my dear ones. And when we see other than his beauty and his love, it is just illusion. It is experience that is being pressed out and express means pressed out instead of in being expressed is freeing the earth yourselves and everyone of these negatives of the illusion of the misunderstandings of life be not concerned about those who seem not to know his love. They will awaken in their own time. They will know his love and his beauty as you are learning to know it. They will awaken when it is time for them to awaken. You who are moving upward in consciousness, you who are letting his light shine brighter through you every day, know his beauty and know the touch of his love. And as you sit in quietness to have communion with him within you, know that we are all around you and we are lending our love to your love. We never fail to be with you, for we are you, and you are we. We are one in life. We are one in love, and we are one in God. When you truly know this through experience, then you move higher in consciousness and you see a larger picture of the universe, of life itself. And you look within to see this picture of beauty and the glory of his being that manifests itself everywhere present. Let us pause at this moment to take time to answer any questions or allow you to make any comments that you would make. I have a question. Yes. What would be the best way to respond to someone who, at the same time that they don't have any, per se, organized religious beliefs, they still believe that you being the master have now, for whatever reasons, have decided not to heal him as you have in the past, but are allowing him to do it himself. That's his present belief, is that he's just waiting for you to heal him. And what would be a good response for that? In your language, my dear ones, there are many things that can trip you up in your understanding. And as you attempt to communicate with others about this, begin by um, just expressing your understanding at this moment. And also making the statement that you are growing into a larger understanding as everyone else is and realize that life is one and it is the father's power and love that heals and the father's power and love is within me is within you is within your friend and this is what we release to we release 
the misunderstandings of life that has caused the dis-ease. And as we release this, then his love and his light can come in to the dark places that are causing the misunderstandings and the disease. It is a matter of letting go of any and all so-called beliefs and allowing the truth of being to manifest When your friend can hear the truth, then try to paint a word picture for him of the Father in your understanding and the Father's love for him. Try to help him to understand that misunderstandings from the past are now coming to the surface to be eliminated from his consciousness. And it matters not whether his healing is taking place in this incarnation or whether it is taking place at his death. It matters not when the healing takes place, but it does matter that he allows God to come in and God's love to be there. And whether he thinks it is the love and the light and the healing that I bring to him or whether it is his understanding does not matter but it matters that he knows that God is everywhere present within him just as much as it is within me. And if he is not able to come to this realization, then be at peace about it, but offer your understanding to an open ear and then release it to God. Does this help your understanding? Very much so. Thank you, Lani. Are there other questions this evening? Can you tell me if I'm handling my run study and my prayer work right? Is there a better way of going at it? My dear one, be not concerned about what is the best or the better way. It is the motive that is important, and it is that it comes from your heart. It matters not the words or the way that you express the words. It matters the feeling and the intent and the motive. And this is the thing that God hears. This is the thing that we see as we look in your aura and we see the inner you, not the language or the way that you present your prayers. When you are reaching for a higher understanding, know that God is within you and you already have this understanding and you are just awakening to it. And when you are reaching out to help others. Just know that you are an open channel, just as a water pipe is a channel that the water flows through and release to God with no concern, knowing that he is using you to the best of your ability to let him. And you will awaken more and more as you move upward. But when you hold concern about whether this is right or that is right, or this is the best way, then you cloud the issue. Just know 
that God is everywhere present and he loves you and is holding you in the palm of his hand at all times. And at times feel him embracing you and hugging you to his bosom and know that his love is far, far greater than any technique or any other thing and just be beautiful being that you already are. Does this help your understanding? Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Sure. Are there other questions this evening? Yes. It had a lot of reminders of time, space, past, present, future, uh, to chew, that made me understand the reasoning for it is coming up so much. Uh, are we uh, speaking for, are we speaking about the concept of duality? Be more clear for the tape and the others, would you please? We understand that past, present, and future are all happening at once. Yes. And this illusion that we're in. I am reminded more and more and more re recently of the different aspects of this. And the aspect of perhaps turn travel back to chains, or let's say across to past, change the past to allow the vision of the evolution of our heaven on earth now seems to be coming out. Is this something that we should dwell on or should, should we let it go? As you, um, as these impressions come into your thinking, let the power of God's love and light come with it. And as you bring these thoughts forward into your conscious awareness. Bring also the love and light so that you will realize that the present moment is all that there is. And the present moment does contain the past, all the past, and the future. As you move through the classes that you are taking, you will be reminded as you already have been working with yourself to clean out the house, the subconscious, and the thinking patterns to adjust to a higher way of thinking. But do not complicate the issue, let it be simplified, and do not be concerned at this time about the time travel until you get to that place in the classes that are offered to you. But take this day and this moment and let it be filled full of God's love and beauty and his joy and be the most that you are at this time. There are times when we over analyze, we over uh, complicate things that need not be. Take the step in front of you and be at peace with it. Does this help your understanding? Yes, don't you? Yes, not, not entirely, it does not. But you, if you will think on these things and try not to run ahead too far and just work with what is in front of you at the moment, 
these thoughts are coming to your mind because you are eager to move higher and you want you have a great desire to have the kingdom the full kingdom at this time and this is good but not do not allow this to turn in to impatience did it do you understand yes god bless you are there other questions this evening Yes. Is it possible for you to help me understand the Book of Miracles better, to, to, to wind your wisdom around those words so that they make more sense? In the first book, I, 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 it seems to be much more difficult for me than the other two, and I try to understand them, but uh, they, they, they seem awfully wordy, and there's an awful lot in those words that I need to know. And and I know I can't push God. I just can't. I had a weight will tell if he shows me how the thing. Yes. Uh, I would say to you, read the ones that you do understand and repeat the reading and work with the things that you're given to do and put aside the one that is not clear to you at this moment for a while and let the understanding come from the higher part of you into your conscious awareness and then maybe a month or more then you can take up the one that you are confused about and it will be more clear do not allow the extra words to confuse you. Look within the real meaning, the spirit of the words, the spirit of the message that is coming through. And when you do this, then the extra words are not necessary. Just skip through them and see the spirit of God's love behind them. And is it just, I only have about, I only have about uh, uh, 75 pages left on that first book. Uh, and and uh, I've been working on it. I get quite a bit out of it, but there's much more that to get out. Wouldn't it be all right to finish that through? Yes, if you desire to, but hold no concern about what you do not understand, concentrate on that which you do understand. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Are there other questions this evening? I cannot impress upon you enough the power of God's love to raise your consciousness to heal you of misunderstandings and to make your path lighter and your journey brighter. I would have you to remember this as you go through your days, the power of God's love. Let these words run through your mind the power of God's love. And as you do, make it a chant and allow this to be a beautiful thing that you are saying, a beautiful feeling that you are feeling. And as you say the power of God's love, feel the presence of God within you as the life force flows through you, my dear ones, this is God, and realize this and be grateful for his presence there. As your gratitude lifts you to a greater height, then your understanding of his love and of his life 
that is your life and all life moves into a higher place in your consciousness. Are there other questions this evening? Penis, I sing like a frog. I can't make it. I can't make it. There's no singing there. It, it, it It's just gone lately. Be, be not concerned about this, my dear one. I did not mean to interrupt you. Would you like to say something else? Well, it's just it just doesn't it just doesn't sing lately. I been I sing better when I shut up lately. Yes, this is what I was going to suggest that you not try to sing outwardly, but let the song of his love sing in your heart. Let it you know the music that you like and you know the beauty of his vibrations. Let this be a beat and a renowned thing that moves through your being and feel the presence and let this be the song and the music that flows through your being. It need not be expressed outward. It need not be put into words. I understand that. I feel that going through me. Yes. Thank you. It is important that these little things, uh, and they're not always little things, they're, they're important things, be cleared up in your thinking. And when there is question, be sure to ask, take advantage of this. For my dear ones, there are very few who had the opportunity on your planet. There are more groups forming all the time, and the percentage of people are growing that are open to these higher understandings. And so allow yourself to take advantage of every opportunity to make a, a brighter countenance. And when you understand more, your countenance becomes brighter. When you gain an understanding, a new understanding, then your aura is much brighter and your colors are much brighter because your love is much stronger. Understanding is the foundation that you build your house your consciousness, the many mansions that I mentioned, this is what you build it on, understanding. Remember this and allow yourself to have a little more understanding each day. And if you have ended, uh, come close to the end of your day and you do not have a greater understanding or a feel that you do not have, then be quiet within yourself and ask God to show you a little bit more of himself, of his beauty, and of his life force that flows through you. Are there other questions this evening? I have another question. I, having read some books and especially we're just recently in the initiation and reading some of the ways that they went about teaching um, spirituality, I guess for lack of a better word, and it's what I'll call it, um, or healing is, I don't see any of that happening these days, but is hypnotherapy something that was practiced then, but I'm misunderstanding what they're saying and what they were doing then as opposed to what we're doing now? Yes, it is. And, um, you know, we use different words for different things, but they are very similar. You, 
you see, when a master teacher uh, aligns himself with the vibrations of his student, he is helping that student to be in what your teacher calls an altered state. He is helping that student who has asked for help to set aside the world and to go within. And he reaches out to their mind and gives a thought. And when the student is ready, the thought will be in the mind and the understanding will be there. There are many, many ways to teach. And this that you have read of is one way, but there are many, many other ways. And what you see in your limited vision of this physical plane is just a very small part, my dear. And when you raise your consciousness to a higher level and can see more with the inner eye than you do with the outer eye, you will see that these things that were used then are being used in different places, on different dimensions, but even on your physical plane. Is there something specific about this that you would ask? I was just thinking about the, you know, hypnotherapy that we use sort of, you know, to help us progress, help us understand and guide us in our spiritual healing, so to speak. And when I read this, it just it was a little confusing that it didn't specifically relate to that but I had the feeling that it was there I just couldn't put my finger on it and yeah. subsequently I had some dreams that kind of pointed that way and I just wanted to be clear on that yes uh, do not allow yourself to be confused but let the light of understanding be in your mind and realize that there are many, many ways to the kingdom of God, as many ways as there are individuals, and that a master teacher, when he teaches the student, he teaches them according to their ability to comprehend where they are at their level of consciousness at that moment. And so what you read in a book, uh, and if you, is, is a story of how this teacher taught this student, our students, at that time, realize that everyone is different, and everyone is at a different place every day and we are changing continually. And so be not concerned about not seeing it here because everyone is at their right place at all times. The books are good because they spark uh, a greater uh, understanding and they help you to reach out a little bit farther with your thoughts and your inner image to bring about greater understanding. I encourage you to read the books and to gain the wisdom and the knowledge that you can get from them that sparks within you what you already know. Are there other questions this evening? Yes. Marie, Marie Corelli's book, she's very advanced spiritually, isn't she? And that idea of electricity, it makes sense, doesn't it? Yes. You see, this was written when electricity first 
came on the scene in your world. And uh, now you have atomic energy and you have many other things, the space programs, and this was a new thing when she wrote of this and her explanations of it uh, were greater than the outer experience of electricity. But, but you, you can, for instance, if you know the dead animal, you can use electricity and it's just like it's alive. Yes. Uh, electricity is the energy of God. All of these things are different expressions of the one power. And when you understand this and go to the source, using any medium that you choose, then or the medium that someone can understand at that time in history, then it is the same source, the one source, and it is called different things and used in a little different way. But keep in mind that it is all the power of God and God's love. Are there other questions this evening? She was more open than most people, though, wasn't she? Yes, there are those who are farther advanced along the way for their time. And in her time, she was uh, much more open than those of her time. Than a lot of people of our time. Yes. The time ahead of you as you think of it, the experiences that you're moving into are of great wonder and glory and can bring about uh, a lift in consciousness if you allow your minds to be open and limit not the power of God and the ability of those who are forerunners, who come in like this one you speak of, and others that you know, who bring in new understanding. Be open for this. And even though you may not understand it fully at that time, do not close your mind to it, but be open and ask for more understanding and it will come. Thank you. Yes. I would encourage you to remember that changes are imminent, great changes, and you already see these changes, but more and greater changes are ahead for you, and you will experience them on your physical plane. To understand them, go within. Do not look at anything and think of it as a problem, but think of it as an opportunity. And use whatever you see to further your spiritual growth, to help you to reach into a higher consciousness. I want to grow and I want to help people. I don't want to just sit at it. My dear one, I, as I have said to you, when you send God's love and just sit in your place of, of a bone and let God use you as a channel, you are doing great work. Be not concerned about helping others as you have in your younger life. You help them with their physical bodies, but now is the time for you to be a much higher help by letting God's love and light and healing power flow through you 
and be that open, clear, clean channel and be grateful for it and know that it is helping many, many that you will never know of, but know that it is. This is true for all of you. And as you remember to keep your channel clear and clean and open and be not concerned about being perfect, but send God's love often through the day and allow yourself to be the channel that God works through. As you do this from your physical plane, we have a greater opportunity to help others on the physical plane that we would not have if you did not send God's love. This is difficult for you to understand, but you see, you are of the physical where we are on other dimensions. And in the law of free will, you are using your free will to bring God's love through you to the physical plane. And we can take it then and use it greatly. Remember this and be open to be that channel for his love to bring about healing for many on your plane. This has been a beautiful time to be with you this evening. This has been a beautiful time of understanding and wisdom and of love. Remember that love is the key to all things, that love, God's love, is the answer to all questions. And let it be your motto. God bless you, my dear ones, and good evening. Who is talking to us? It was Jesus. Is there a gold hairs? We hold hairs in the physical. Let it be a symbol of bringing that divine love and light and understanding that has been given us tonight to this, this physical plane. And let us see it filling this room and spreading out over the city and covering this planet with God's love and light and healing power. See it going ahead of us into this week, paving the way for us to greater and greater understanding. Feel the presence of God and God's love within us all through the food this week. And it gives acknowledgments to his presence by letting him know that you know that he is with you. And this will open up the communication much greater with greater calmer. Thank you for wondering. <laughs> And when they roll, and you come, you're not going to stand back to it no more now, I look. Let's see there, it's really good. Of course, you cut, what you cut, it's empty, I think. No, it isn't. It isn't. It's got fun, man. And see, you can do an old, different species of arms and growth, I'd say, a gene in case you never. I'm getting to the half of the color. Folks. I'm not sure that I was very good channel tonight. Mention radio probably so kind of out a little bit rough, but they're there. When one we was told to give you aid it detect smooth out. Yeah. Now he did he has this much as we usually do it in the do we? Well, I think it was just me uh No it wasn't. It had to be cleaning out a little bit sometimes. You know how to yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got, I asked a question and got a commercial and I wonder how much it cost you. 
<laughs> into the universal that I needed to wait and take the course. And I thought, I'm going to wait to take the course. <laughs> you know, I'm talking to a source, I like, can get the answer. I knew. I always laughed out loud. <laughs> When God enters, he answers rapidly and easily and fast, suddenly. I guess so. Because they had them that when you experienced God unexpected and there it's right there. Sometimes he answers in a very down to earth way rather than in this, you know, high phone way we're expecting. Mm. And you can't try it too hard either. You just can't push God. You just can't do it. You just gotta wait, and 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 then He does it in His ways. I had to play the piano for years, and I spent three or four hours a day. But you know, I forgot to put God in at first, and I was just 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 this notes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, the spirit is the important thing that bring the spirit into everything that we do. I was asking about hypnotherapy is because, as I mentioned earlier, my friend who's ill, she, uh, he has. I think the most trouble that I see in him, and I sit down and talk to him. Mm today because I've been kind of leaving him alone, but he's kind of dropping lower and lower into very negative, depressive mood. So I sat him down and I talked with him today and uh, I finally just told him, I says, from what I'm hearing you say, from my perception is that, because he was saying he's having a lot of trouble communicating with God to have the communication he used to have and so forth. I said, you still have that communication. The trouble you're having is understanding yourself right now, what you're going through, and the things that you need to get in line. And that's what he mentioned, that he was waiting for Jesus to heal him. I said, maybe he's trying to teach you how to let Paul with things up. We have to Yeah. Um, yeah. Listen, you have to warn Gary, said. No longer, I just depend like a little kid on somebody else to do it for you. So that's the reason I asked tonight. I didn't know whether my response was appropriate and it was another better response than what I gave, but I had just asked previous to that, I had asked for guidance, hints, and love into it because I knew I was going to back down and talk to you. Mm -hmm. It was the answer clear, the answer. The answer was very clear, I thought. It was pretty much what I had thought it was. And I guess it's learning to trust that guidance that I had to do now. When people first start this, it's, they get the, they get the spirit, but then it, 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 they can't, it, they kind of let it drop, don't they? But it, they come back to it eventually. Mm -hmm. This happens sometimes. Well, I find people calling me, and then they leave it. You know, I mean, they really excited, and then they leave it, and I leave them alone. And then they, then they come again, and they got to come at their own way. Yeah. Everyone has their own time, pace. Yeah, they their own time to get tangled up too. So how does it lead to? Yes, you fall on your nose and you know the very oh, and many and many many. There's nothing that can happen to anybody because in it when when it get you get way down and get on the dead rock on uh, life and then you go and try to learn. But when everything's going nice or what you think in life, you just cast it you're just running along on the top of picking up the bubble from like Yeah. It depends on the individual and its circumstances. But nothing with the good can happen to you, because it's all good. It's all God. If we, we use the good and the bad 
the duality concept. And it's neither good or bad. It's experience. It's life. But God is constructing this game. If you, if you approach God is in the right way, well, but if you don't, it's just like running a car down a hill into that, to the fake glass window. If you don't, he's constructive anyway. He's constructive. Sure, you go on your nose and you know you don't want to be there. Yeah. It's all life and experience. We can take it at whatever pace we want to. I thank God for every virtue, but I thank God for every mistake to the so-called sin because they're all good. Yeah. Or you wouldn't have one. When you wouldn't, not when you, you've been asking God to take care of you, you wouldn't have them. Yeah. And either the full prayer experience. So it's just like a Catholic too. You bring in all tanks on light blues or yellow. You think if you didn't have anything but that and no darker colors to fill those light ones up, well, it would be very monotonous. <laughs> They know painting the picture is what you paint, is the shadows which define the light. Once you put that in, you put the shadows in first, pretty soon you start seeing the picture. Now it's very easy to see the light when you put it in. You know, those two girls who don't talk at all, is why you going to get them dizzy. That's what I could. Maybe they're already there, they don't need any help. <laughs> well, they should give the look as that. Yeah. I'm sure they got a whole lot that we don't have. You know, we're to share more. They're my oldest students in this part of the country. They are? Yeah. But then you ain't gonna them it. <laughs> yeah, this mother and daughter. Sparty, yes, the boy, you realize that you don't know. She, not a new one. He's more you realize you need to learn. I want to do this. I talk a lot because I know very little. I'm kind of learning. You know it, we know it. It's the worst. It, and then you begin to see what you you begin to see yourself like you you just didn't think you were that that's you know that's kind of colorful. Well, that's an error. I know everything already. Just consciously, I know very little. I know it's there, but it won't come out. It won't come clear enough. We need confirmation sometimes. Clarification. You get that sometimes because you'll be thinking of something just like that in a very really when I was teaching in Italy, I thought that and so well, this is just like electricity. And that you find it you find other people tell you what you've been thinking about. You find that don't you? Yeah. yeah. Because we're all one anyway. No. None of the question, but Queen, um, does it make it any easier having a mom that has a thing against the children or bringing you up and more? Probably, yeah. Uh... She was in the fourth grade when I first lived with her. You thought? The second grade. <laughs> <laughs> she was my teacher, though. I learned more from her than she will learn from me. Never knew all the church stuff. Sure, if you need my shit, I used to never did like going. With... When I came in 58 to Arizona, we went on the desert and they lived in Coolidge. And I was small office of Coolidge. So, but I first started in Melba's house, my first class. Yeah. If you mind. You know, a friend told me my neighbor. It was a good was a well, I mean, she wants to win about Stephanie. She told me he's yelling at him and I'm good and kind of a Yeah. 